Hi friends, Mindy here. I have an unboxing for you today. This is the newest kit from By the Wolf for God. It is called Son of Man. This kit is releasing um, December 21st at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So um, if you're watching this video as soon as it goes live, it will be today in just a few hours. So um, I want to try to go through here pretty quickly. I do have some other things I pulled that are from previous kits that I wanna share that will kind of, I think, coordinate with this kit. But um, the first thing I wanna talk about is the goodie bag. So if you've never ordered from By the Wolf for God before, they always include a goodie bag, not just when you order a kit, but anytime that you order from them. So what's in that? kind of varies from time to time but during kit release um if you are part of the first um set of people that order over 75 dollars this is kind of until the supplies that they have run out um you will get an extra goodie so the extra 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 goodie it, this month is um uh, this set of post-it notes that has this kind of uh, floral background and then the scripture Luke 19 10 on the back of it and save your packaging because that you can use that in your Bible or in a journal or whatever and then um, this other item that you can get if you order over a certain amount is this stamp it's like a little two by three stamp and I really love this because every detail that they do is so awesome I don't know if you can tell but these are actually like chapter and verse references on this little stamp so fun and this image is kind of an image that's in the kit and so um, it will be fun to be able to kind of stamp this out and make your own little labels and things for layering there's also a clip card that has some fabric so in the past they used to include bow clips but they've just started to include just an extra amount of fabric that you can kind of use however you want and it's in this purple color and then of course there's a scripture on here as well um so that this you know nothing is wasted so you could use this as a layering piece or you could use it to focus on this verse or whatever but um it's plenty of fabric for you to make your own bows or to add a ruffle or do whatever you want to do with the fabric so that's always fun there's also some journaling cards this month in kind of the colors of the kit there are six of these they say ancient of days across the top and then they have scripture down at the bottom focusing in daniel which is where we'll be focusing i think this month in this um devotional and then there's a couple sheets of label stickers these are white labels i'm printed on white sticker paper um and they just they say uh cross reference on them which is great if you are kind of doing an in-depth study um, and then they're just all in the colors of the kit. So that right there is just what was in the goodie bag. We haven't even gotten to the main kit. So this is the main kit and it arrives in this canvas drawstring bag. There's always the um, kit sticker on the front letting you know what it is. And I'm gonna pull everything out um, of here. And I, I want to start with the devotional because as always, it's the most important part of the kit. It is a 14 day devotional. It's designed so that you can do, do the study one day and then kind of do your response in your creative journaling the next day. I know there are a lot of us that kind of do um, that process a little bit different, but that is the intention behind why it is a 14 day devotional and that it will last you an entire month in doing that that way. Um, so it's, it is 14 days. And like I said, we are talking about this month, son of man. And this is a title that Jesus refers to himself, um, many times, and it reflects back to a prophecy in Daniel. And so we're going to be looking through that. And, um, this is just the introduction page. And so, you know, when Jesus asked Peter who he was, um, Peter's revelation was that he was the Messiah and, and Jesus, you know, tells him that, you know, it's God that revealed that to you. Um, but it's really talking about the son of man title that Jesus has. And um, again, tying that back to Daniel. So we'll kind of be referring back to that um, prophecy as well. So this is the beautiful cover. I love this kind of vintage vibe to the you know the background papers and everything in here so um that is the devotional it's um going to be a great study this one is written by tom and then you get a bow clip card which has two clips on there and then another verse this is kind of the focus verse of the devotional which is daniel 7 13 and 14 and um 
So you can use this as, again, you could use it as a tuck in, tuck spot, tip in, you know, whatever you want to do. And then, you know, I know a lot of times I actually deconstruct these and use the fabric in different ways. Um, but you can do all kinds of things with your little bow clips. And then the kit stamp this month, I love the fact that there are a bunch of different words in different type faces. So I really feel like these words even are just things that you can use in different devotionals or different studies or different, you know, reflective um, Bible journaling that you're doing because it's, you know, words like wisdom and judgment, redemption, humility, um, prophecy. There's plenty of prophecy that you can document in your Bible. So um, you can kind of see they've covered, colored these in a little bit. So don't, you know, feel like you have to stamp them in black. You can obviously stamp them in whatever color, but I do like all of the different fonts. I love this one with glorious on it. Um, so that is the kit stamp. And then, oh, and a side note, um, there's a little trick to this that I like to try to remember to tell people, but I know sometimes when the stamps are in the sleeve, it can be a little difficult, you can see, to kind of pull this stamp set out. If you will just take the backer out of here, see if I can grab it, I'm grabbing the plastic, just take the backer out and slide it in front of the kit of the actual stamp set, if I can do this. Of course, I can't do it on camera because... I'm doing it on camera, but um, if you just kind of slide this in here, then the stamp set will pop right out. So uh, just a little trick. Sometimes the little sleeves want to hold on to the stamps and it just is a little trick to help you. So anyway, moving on. Um, there is an ephemera kit this month. It has 25 ephemera pieces. And I'm gonna pull this out, Oops, florals. So whenever you um, get the ephemera kit or the, set in the devotional there's always a little bit of a texture this month Lori included this beautiful lace kind of um, coordinating with the kit now you can actually get an extra set of these die cuts if you want to um, it's called a duplicate set if you do that get that set it will be exactly the same except it won't have this piece of texture in there but if you if you don't want to have to do the printer or you know the fussy cutting of extra fi of the digital files because you do get the digital files for all of this as well. Um, this is a great way is to just get the extra coordinating or the extra um, die cuts. So I'm just going to go through here really quickly um, because I think this one is one of my favorites. I love maps and I love these kind of like vintage journaling cards. They're so good. And there's a little typewriter. This is that one. This is the stamp. Um, that came in the freebie. So you can see you can kind of color that up however you want if you're using, if you, you know, stamp out several of those. And as a purple lover, I, I love a good purple. So um, I'm excited for some of these purples in here. I love this little one that looks like an old book. And then plenty of florals for the floral loving people out there. These kind of big ones. These are, are good too if you want to do like a tuck spot and tuck your journaling card or something back behind there or, you know, a big kind of focal image on there as well. Just a few sprays and there's another like vintage looking book in the green. So those are the die cuts that come in in the kit. And again, you can get additional sets of these if you want to. There, Look for the ones that say um, duplicate because there is a coordinating set and I'll show you those in a little bit but I'm um, just kind of want to go through with the main kit first here I'm going to open this up again I'm sorry for the packaging noise I know that I try to do that with everything else I know it bothers some people so um this is the watercolor dot card and one of the um really unique things about by the well because they sell the Daniel Smith watercolors they can create these fun watercolor dot cards and these are artist grade watercolor, so it's they're highly pigmented and a little bit goes a long way. So it's really best if you're working on a palette or even, you know, the packaging. Personally, I like to use an acrylic stamp block because then I can just let it dry and then use that as a palette while I'm working through the kit for that month. So there are six colors and um, you just want to make sure that when you're picking up the pigment, you don't want to just kind of grind it down into this watercolor paper. So it's best if you can really kind of pull it up and 
use it on a palette and um, you'll want to you know adjust your amount of water to really get the shade that you want because like I said these are going to be really pigmented and I know it doesn't look like it but a little bit goes a long way so there's plenty of watercolor on here there is also a kit sticker this is printed on white sticker paper that just has the title. A lot of people will put these in their Bible to signify that that's devotional was done in that Bible. If I do a journal, I will oftentimes put this like on the inside cover or whatever, just and with the date. So I know when I worked on that particular um, devotional. There are also three journaling cards this month and they have the, the um, scripture on them. This one is Matthew 8 20 and then kind of a collaged background. This is Luke 12 40 and Matthew 24 30. I love this one with this like these collaged um, vintage looking pieces on the back and then on the back there's just area for you to do your writing. I love this one here with all the mind space on it and then you have two sheets of clear stickers um, this first one has the florals on it along with some greenery. These are um, clear stickers and even the little label up here and the little by the well for God truck are stickers. They actually cut those out. So if you wanted to put that like with every page that you're doing, just so you know that that is a page that goes with this devotional, you can certainly do that. That's a lot of fun. And then this one has these um, like faux washi because again this is just clear sticker paper um I love this like ledger kind of one and this lace I like the purple brick and then these vintage items on here as well if you're not interested in keeping them as you know clear stickers you can always put them down on white paper and then trim them out and then you just kind of have more ephemera pieces to work with there's also um I'm gonna do that last this is the alpha sticker so this is done on white sticker paper and I don't know if you can see if I can get that in focus so you can really see the beautiful florals in there and then it also has a coordinating number set and then because be prior to several months ago now it's been um when they used to have the flare pins and that they they can't really source those anymore so they started adding in um, a, a separate sticker sheet and for a while they were doing like a duplicate set of numbers and then they started changing them up which I love and this month it's these beautiful like labels that have um, like a lacy background I hope you can see that okay but um, these are just good for like cross reference and it's kind of has a wood grain in the background I love these stickers a lot um, and then I want to point out too this is the sticker this is the backer for this packaging this would make a great tip in in your journal either side you could use for all kinds of things um so don't throw away your packaging because this is this is beautiful and they're very intentional about um doing this so that you have less waste you could actually use all of the pieces of that so other than needing maybe an ink pad and a stamping block and a pen maybe a paintbrush for your watercolors. This is everything that you need to work through this devotional. There are a ton of beautiful things that they come out with every month. They're so fun to, to play with and to get creative with, but they're really not necessary um, to be able to work through the devotional. The devotional really, really is the most important part and it's the heart of what they do and they put a lot of effort into providing good quality content in that way. Um, and so I just, I don't, I know I'm gonna be showing a lot of things, but I don't, I want to stress that, you know, if, if the kit is what you can get, it will be worth every penny. There's plenty of here to work with um, that you can work through the entire devotional and you'll still have stuff left over at the end and you can still um, enjoy doing the study without feeling like you have to have all of the things in order to be able to do it. So um, that's just my little my little plug. Um, I, not that I'm discouraging you from buying all the things if you can and, and want to. Um, I love having all the things, but I don't want you to feel, you know, like deterred from that if you know I know how I know how it goes so um we kind of have that fear of missing out thing sometimes um that can be a little debilitating but speaking of all of the all of the things now I'm going to go into all of the things so um the first thing are the stamps and so every month by the well releases five stamp kits that coordinate with the devotional and ordinarily a four by six stamp set like this is fifteen dollars during the release if you buy one stamp set one additional stamp set it's twelve dollars if you buy two or more they are ten dollars so it's a good deal it's a good way to 
stock up on stamps if you need to or to expand your collection. Um, but I'm just going to go through these stamps. This one is DIY, DIY columns. So you have these beautiful, um, beautiful columns and then you have the toppers. I can't remember what the tops of those are called. If they're called finials or I'm not sure honestly, but let me show you the back and you can even add some florals. If you put your clear floral sticker over the top of that, it would melt right in there um, and look like it was all one piece. If you were able to do the DIY cathedral that came out with Heavenly Host, those would probably coordinate pretty well. I should have pulled those so you I could show you, but um, anyway, um, those are called D yeah, DIY cathedral from the heavenly host kit um but this is diy columns and then this one is called promised messiah this is like the line art kind of florals you can kind of see here you could stamp them in different colors you could stamp do some embossing and kind of watercolor them in um there's just a lot of ways that you can do them when they're kind of open like this this one is called humble textures this is one of my favorites that got released with this kit because I really love this lace. I know that this kind of seems a little bit overwhelming because of all of the black, but that's just the printed area. Um, and I love the labels here. I especially love this little postage one. Um, and then you have a little tile down here that you could kind of make your own pattern out of this little rectangle down here. And then of course the butterfly. Um, and then you can kind of see how they've done the white lace here. So it's not quite as intimidating, I think maybe that way. Um, and then use your tile alphas for um, filling in on this little um, stamp too. It's just really cute. I really like this one. And then another one is glorious plaid. I, I love a, a good plaid. So I was excited for this one. You can kind of see, I really like how they did the ombre look of this one as well. And then my favorite of all of them, all five is this one that's called anticipated collage. I, I love, I love everything about this. I love the script in the background and the flowers. And then you have like the type written text and you have a different font over here with some different backgrounds. You could really kind of do so many fun things with this. I have a bunch of ideas for this stamp set, so you'll probably be seeing it a lot from me because I really love this stamp. So I think this one is just a good kind of multifaceted one that you can use. I appreciate that with their background um, stamps that you can use them in lots of different ways. So um, be looking for that. I have I already have several ideas for those. So let me set this aside. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you are the journals. These are the Traveler's Notebooks. I have journal set one. There is a, a second set as well. This one has um, that floral on the one and then, of course, the plaid for the second journal. And these are the same paper and paper quality as the devotional is printed on. And so um, if you've seen my channel before, I have plenty of videos where I've taken a Traveler's Notebook like this and kind of deconstructed it and created a junk journal, added papers in, and you can do all kinds of stuff with this paper. They they can take a beating. So um, I've watercolored on them, used texture paste on them, done all kinds of things on this paper. It's not technically mixed media paper, but it's good paper. So um, the, tr the journal set is good. And they're good for all kinds of other things too. Scripture notes, um, sermon notes, tossing in your purse to just you know have a notebook at hand, whatever. I love their traveler's notebooks. Um, let me set that to the side as well. So earlier I mentioned that there is a second set of ephemera that you can get. This is called the coordinating set. And in this set, there are 30 ephemera pieces. And these are going to be different to the ones that come in the kit and different from the ones that are just the duplicates. So if you really like having die cuts, um, and I've mentioned this before, if you're like me and your printer is a little wonky, having these extra die cuts is really helpful. Um, sometimes my printer does not want to print proper colors. So um, this is just really helpful. And also, like I said, if you, um, if you don't want to have to do the fussy cutting and all of that kind of stuff, this is just a good way to get you some other images. And they are gonna be different. So this is kind of like a line art. Let me see if you can see how that one is really kind of like pen and ink kind of look, but it's like a, a dark blue almost. I don't, yeah, I think it's like an almost like a navy blue. And then you have some vintage pieces here. These look, could be used even as journaling cards. Um, and then just some separate floral pieces. Um, but these are different than the ones 
in the other ephemera kit. So I'm just going to go through here quickly. There's, there's a lot of them. I really like these bigger pieces for creating like tuck spots and um, holding down closures for envelopes and those kinds of things. Um, these bigger pieces work really well for that. And then of course you have some of the greenery and then some more of the little just kind of journaling card things. You could use your alpha tiles and put a title in here if you wanted to. Um, and then I love this little piece here that's like a little vintage envelope. So a lot of fun with the die cuts. This is, the again, the coordinating set of die cuts. Let me set that off to the side as well. Hopefully I don't make a mess over there. Um, this month they released two sets of journaling cards. Um, I know last month they released a set, um, a second set for the devotional. And so this month... Um, you have this first set here, and um, this one, they're, they're, this one is Son of God, and the other one is Son of God Frames. So this one has like um, a lace background, and then it's got a scripture on the front, like a little label, and all of the scriptures are different. And so you have these beautiful vintage lace patterns on here that are like photorealistic, honestly. And, um, and then on the back, it's just a dot grid so that you can write in write your notes on there um i like to use my um i do a lot of my scripture writing for from the devotional on the backs of these but you could also make them into pockets and stuff just because the front of them is so beautiful especially this set of frames which are just beautiful so you have this really dark kind of classic looking frame and then you have a lined space in the back so the frame is the same on the back but you just have this kind of smaller writing area so and then uh, of course these are all different as well so um there are 12 in each package so if you got one or the other um and then these don't have a scripture on them but the, these ones with the lace do Okay, let me, where can I put these? Let me set those over there. Um, the next thing I guess I will show are the two sets of flashcards. I'm not gonna take these out of the packaging um, just cause I don't want them to kind of fly around my craft area before I'm ready to work with them. But um, they do release two sets. They do have different scriptures and kind of focus words on them. So either one of these sets will take you all the way through the devotional. So if you, if there's one that you just prefer the look of, it, it will take you through all 14 days of the devotional. If you like both of them, I always like to use both of them. Um, it will still take you both through and you won't have any duplicates or anything like that. So this one is kind of the, um, the purple colors. Well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll go ahead and show because so you can kind of see the colors. Um, there's like the, the light purples and the plums and then a green in there as well. And then even the little card in the back has a printed pattern on it, which is that beautiful wood grain. Um, so you can use that as a texture or a layering piece. If you're making some clusters, um, you can do that as well. And then I'm not going to open this one because I just tore the packaging on that. Um, but this one has the lace pattern on it. So it's kind of the similar to the journaling cards. And then, but the, each of those are kind of different as well. So either one of those uh, will, will get you through the devotional. And then there, they have been releasing these mini set of stickers. These are kind of sized the same way that the, um, the pocket journaling Bible stickers are. So you get um, eight sheets and you have four different designs. So you're getting two pages of each. I'm trying to get them separated here a little bit. These are on clear sticker paper and they're just a little bit smaller. So if you like to coordinate in your planner, um, you can use these for that. Or um, if you have a smaller margin Bible, like the um, spiral Bible that has like a two inch by margin. My first journaling Bible actually has just a two inch margin. Um, and so these would work well for that, or it, they would work well for just kind of showing, you know, indicating the scripture that you're working on, um, even in a, in a larger Bible. And I really love these that have like the vintage, um, envelopes and things on there. I lo love those. And then you have the two pages of uh, florals as well. So these are the little mini stickers because everything is just better in mini. 
The next thing I want to show you are the labels. There are five sheets of these in three different styles. So um, you have the dot grid, the regular grid, and then lined. So you have like a blue and then the three purples and then this kind of gray color here. These are great for titles or for layering pieces or you can even do your journaling on there. A lot of times I will take a quote from the devotional um, and use that as well. It's another option for those. And then there are the tile alphas. Again, there's five of these and these beautiful purple, purple and blue. And this one, um, I don't, it's hard to tell for me if that is like more of a gray or like a purpley gray. At any rate, it's pretty. So there's five of these, plenty of letters on here um, for you to use, which I do always appreciate that there's a good variety of letters on the tile alphas. And then if you like the tile or the alphas that were in the devotional um, on the white sticker paper, there's also a set in clear sticker. Um, and this is a set of, I believe it's seven. I can, yes, yeah, seven. Um, so the first set is the clear version of what comes in the devotional. And then you have this like olive green and these kind of deeper um, purple colors. And then um, a lavender and a blue. So you can kind of see the colors there. And again, plenty of letters to you know spell out your titles or if there's just a word that sticks out to you from that study or um, that a verse, then there's just a word that sticks out. You can emphasize it that way. So these are all on clear sticker paper. I'm running out of space here. Um, there's a coordinating sticker pack again also. Um, and it's the big sheets as well. I'm trying trying to get these separated so I can show you. Um, I love postage stamps. Anytime they, they print anything with postage stamps, I am here for it. I love them. Uh, and these are super cute. And I love that they even have like a little butterfly up here that you, you know, to kind of fill in this area. And again, all of these are cut and tr as well. And then you have this beautiful like lace washi, faux washi. And then you have these kind of doily medallions. If you have, um, there was a medallion stamp set actually, which I should have pulled to show you, but um, that would probably coordinate with this really well too. But I love this intricate one down here. Um, and these are good, like even the half is, it's good hanging off the side of a page. Um, it's actually really, I, lo I love things hanging off the side. So I love, I love this sheet of stickers a lot because of all the envelopes and the different colors of them. And just, I, I love the, I love these stickers. And then there's a sheet of washi. Um, I like this one because I love this like map one. I think that's so beautiful. And then here you have those frames that are kind of the frames from the um, journaling card. And then like a lace one. And I love this one that's kind of um, just like figures in the background. And then the last one are the title starters. So this is the name of each of the 14 days. If you like to indicate that in your, um, in your Bible journaling or on your, um, on your, if you create a devotion, like a separate journal or whatever, and you want to indicate what day or in your own notes or whatever, you have all of the days titled out. And again, like here's a little floral. This one has a frame. So they're even using that kind of empty space up here um, to house other little, like little bonus stickers. So um, that, those are all clear stickers as well. And then there are three stencils to choose from. The first one is called Humble Script. This, this is the first time that they've done one that's like a scripty um, stencil like this. So this one is Humble Script. And again, you have the backers that have color and stuff on them. So you could punch tabs out of this. You could make your own journaling cards. You could stamp on here, um, you know, however you want to do it. But you could definitely do that. This one, I love this wood grain. This is called Not Without Him, which is funny. Um, and... Um, so this is this wood grain, which I love. I, um, and again, the backer and then the threads of prophecy. This is kind of that lace doily kind of look to it. Uh, I think this one will really be a lot of fun with some texture paste on it. Um, so I'm excited for that one. So those are the three stencils and there's still more. So um, I'm going to go through 
the next couple items, which are always a favorite of mine, which are the little file folders. And this month, again, they released the, the regular size file folder and the bitty itty bitty folders. So you have mini file, mini file folders and itty bitty ones. I'm just going to put them here side by side so that you can kind of see the size difference. So these are great. You could even make a journal out of these or tuck them into your journal and hide your, you know, if you have a private prayer or something that you want to include, this is a great way to do that. This one is probably my favorite and I'm excited that it's actually in both sets. Um, some of them are the same and some of them are different, but this just collaged background is something that I am really liking. Um, and then on the back of this one is a plaid. I love that they print these um, two-sided so that when you're folding it, it's you're going to get a different look, you know, depending on how you fold it. This one's going to be hard because I love both the green and I really love that ledger. And then there's the beautiful lace with that kind of pattern. This is where I was talking about that stamp. You could kind of create your own patterns um, using that stamp, kind of doing the same thing as that. And there's this beautiful wood grain. And then on this side are those frames. And then these beautiful vintage letters. And then you have the type set on here. And this green, which is just beautiful when there's a plaid on the back of that one. And then I love this purple brick. It's pretty awesome. And then it has the columns on the back. And even the backer for this is a ledger. And it's even got like a little script on there. So you can definitely use all your pieces and parts. And then I'll go through the itty bitty ones really quick too. So you can kind of see them. Because everything is just cuter in mini love that one. I love the wood grain on this one as well. And the beautiful lace patterns. So good. And then the frames again with another wood pattern. And then the beautiful brick again. And there's that one. Oh, I love this one too. I think that is in the paper pack. We'll get to that. Um, and then that wood grain and then this one as well. And then again, even this one is a ledger printed um, so this would, you could very easily, um, trim off the little top part of here and make this a little journaling card. If you wanted to cover up the back, you certainly could. Um, anyway, you can use all of the parts. So I love that. So that's the mini note folders and the itty bitty folders. I'm going to set those over here. And then I think the last thing for this kit is the paper pad. So this is the six by eight. It does come in a six by six as well. Um, we get the six by eight, which I love. There are 24 double-sided papers, so there's three of each design. So as I mentioned earlier, this is probably my favorite one of all of them. And then this beautiful lace. This one's gonna be tricky for me because I'm not gonna know which side to use. And then you have this beautiful floral. This is the same one that's in those alphas. And then you have this scripty, um, like, letter in the background. Um, this beautiful lace. I love the, the green that they added with this kit too to offset the purple. And then you have this kind of ledger. There's a little bit of script on there as well. And again, the wood green, which I love. And I love that there's a dark and a light version. And then here is the plaid. This was, you saw this in the file folder. And then this beautiful green as well. And then the vintage envelopes and the columns on the back side of that. And then you have this kind of, um, I don't really know what to call that pattern. It's kind of like a mosaic tile kind of, that's what it says to me. But I love this paper as well. It's just got that kind of um, line art floral with that beautiful scripty font in the background. And then you have this plaid and the beautiful purple bricks on the back. So that's everything that you can get that coordinates with the main devotional kit. Um, as you can see, there's a lot, there's a lot to cho choose from, but there's a lot of different things that you can do with all of these things, a lot of ways to make it personal, make it your own. Um, but I did want to pull out a couple of things. There are some stamps that are releasing this month. Um, one of them we have, you know, I'll have to order once the, the kit goes live, which is, um, I cannot remember what it's called, but it's an alpha set. And, um, I think Lori, called it Ransom, and I was called Daniel, that's the name of it, um, but it kind of looks like Ransom Note Letters, um, and it's that same um, font that you kind of saw here in that stamp set, um, and that's a six by eight stamp set, 
And then they're doing a retro release of two stamps from the past, which I happen to have. So I pulled these so you could kind of see what they are. Um, this one is called The Light 2, and these are some lanterns. I love this little stream of light. Um, the little rope lights so cute you can see which ones of this <laughs> have been my favorite um this is old this is obviously before they even changed some of their um packaging but um i'm i can't remember what year this came from but um this one is the light too this is a retro stamp that's going to be releasing and then this one is stand watch i believe this is the other one that is releasing as well um i hope i pulled the right one but i think that that was um that was right. So I pulled those. And then I also pulled some stencils from past kits. And um, I can't remember necessarily which devotional these came from. So I do apologize for that. Um, I want to say this one came from Currency of Grace. Um, but it's like that doily st um, stencil. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so if you have this in your stash, pull it out because it will, I think it would coordinate just fine with this devotional. And then I pulled this one as well. This one was fam from Famous Last Words. So if you kind of like that blocky um, font, I think that you could make this work with that kind of um, font that's on here as well. And then I also pulled this one. This one is called Lovely Lace. Uh, this one is from a, f a February kit s several years ago. Um, I can't remember when, and I can't remember the name of the kit. But if you have this one in your stamp or in your in your stash, pull this out because this is just a great lace pattern. There are like little um, in the background. You can kind of see little hearts. But I don't think if that's not where your brain is, I don't think that you kind of pick up that there are hearts in it. Um, but at any rate, it's it's a beautiful stencil. I'm sure there's others too. These were just the first ones that came to mind that I pulled out of my stash. So um, I to, to kind of coordinate with everything. So again, I will put my affiliate link down below. If you choose to use that, I do appreciate it. I, um, I, it doesn't cost you any extra to use that link, but it does help me out. And I am so grateful for each and every one of you that use that, that link every, every month. And, um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Again, this is going live on December 21st at 1 PM Eastern, barring any unforeseen circumstances. But, um, hopefully this kind of gives you an idea for what to expect in the kit. And, um, if you liked this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.